Macaulay is a Debian-based Linux distribution that is known for penetration testing, security research, and reverse engineering. Now, by default, there are a lot of helpful tools that are pre-installed, which is good for both development and penetration testing. Now, this distro is not made for general users. It is primarily designed for students, web developers, and programmers. Now, this is Kali Linux 2022 64-bit edition running on Raspberry Pi 4. Hey guys, my name is KSK Ryle. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux 2022 on Raspberry Pi 4. Now, unlike the SD card, I'm gonna install Kali on SSD. And at the end of this video, we can overclock the Raspberry Pi 4 to get a full performance. Now, this indeed is going to turn your Raspberry Pi 4 into a full-fledged desktop computer. All right, first and foremost, go ahead, open your favorite browser. Then the first link will gonna take you to the Kali Linux official website. Now click on the big download button and look for ARM builds. Now under the Raspberry Pi 4 foundation, you can find Kali Linux. It's available in both 32 and 64 bit. And for now, I'm gonna choose the 64 bit edition. Now open the second link, which will take you to this page and download the Balina HR. Now once it's done downloading all of the files, place them somewhere on your computer for easier navigation. Now go ahead and install Balina Etcher on your computer and open it. Now choose select image option and look for the Kali Linux image file. Then choose the drive letter. You can either use an SD card or SSD. In my case, I'm using the SSD for faster performance. Make sure the bootloader on your Raspberry Pi 4 is updated that support USB boot. Then click on Flash to start creating a bootable drive with Kali Linux 2022. Now sit back and relax. The process will take some time depending on the writing speed of the drive. Now as you can see, it has done flashing. Now go ahead, eject the USB drive. Now insert the SD card or SSD on Raspberry Pi 4. Then connect to monitor, keyboard, mouse, power supply, and Ethernet cable for internet connection. You can also use Wi-Fi. Now once it's done connecting all the things, turn on your Raspberry Pi 4. Now wait for a few minutes. The first boot will take around 30 seconds if you are booting from SSD. That's it. We are successfully installed Kali Linux 64-bit on Raspberry Pi 4. Now, by default, the username and password is Kali. Then go ahead and open a terminal and change the default password by typing this command. Now as you can see, the new password has been updated successfully. Now type sudo apt update to update all the repositories. Now once it's done, type sudo apt upgrade to upgrade the system now if in case you see any dependency issue install the package then upgrade the system now make sure your raspberry pi 4 is connected to ethernet or wi-fi and has a proper internet connection to download all of the updates now this will take some time sit back and relax for a few minutes The Kali Linux 2022 for Raspberry Pi 4 comes with XFCE desktop and brings some new features which include kernel 5.4, a refreshed browser landing page, new tools in Kali, shell prompt changes, SSH wide compatibility and more. 
Now Kali Linux turns your Raspberry Pi 4 into a full-fledged desktop computer. You can use this distribution for programming and penetration testing. Now as you can see, it looks fantastic on Raspberry Pi 4. As a bonus part of this video, I'm going to show you guys overclocking the Raspberry Pi 4 to make it much faster. Now keep in mind, overclocking may improve the speed of the desktop experience. But make sure your Raspberry Pi 4 has a CPU cooler or a heatsink installed to avoid overheating issues. To do so, open the terminal and type sudo su to enter into a super user mode. Then type nano boot config.txt and add these lines to the bottom. Now by adding these lines, we are overclocking the CPU to 2000 MHz and GPU to 700 MHz. And also please make sure your power supply is capable of providing a sufficient juice to make this possible. Now once it's done, save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O and press Ctrl plus X to exit. Now restart the Raspberry Pi 4 and voila, now you can see the Raspberry Pi 4 is running at 2000 MHz. The system is much responsive. When it comes to video playback, you can stream the 720p video on YouTube without any issues. Now more than that resolution, your system may tend to struggle a lot and you can see a lot of frame drops. And that's pretty much it guys, let me know what you think about it. So if in case this video helped you, like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and consider hitting the bell icon to get notified to see more videos. Thanks for watching, this has been KSK Royal, I will see you in my next one.